Hey everyone, it's time for another vlog. Ever since I was a kid, I suffered from arachnophobia. Now, unlike most people, like some people are afraid because spiders are venomous or whatever reasons, but unlike most people, I got my fear indirectly from my mom's psycho fear of spiders. <laughs> talking about my mom used to be fucking terrified of spiders even before I was born she underwent like hypnosis and therapy and all this shit she even did this like 3d soothing therapy shit all this stuff and nothing really helped and whenever there was even the tiniest little spider somewhere she would like go ballistic completely freak out that is as a kid growing up with that you know your mind takes over this fear and that is why I became so terrified of spiders I decided I want to get over this fear especially because the way it was like indoctrinated into my being I feel like it's something like any other fear you should be able to overcome. A story about my mom and me, for example, is one day when I was very little, let's say six or seven, I don't know, we went to my aunt and uncles that lived on the other side of the country. That was back when I was still living in the Netherlands. And they used to have so many toys, just like I did, just like me and my brothers did. They had like mask cars and He-Man and a bunch of random shit and they had this massive plastic fake spider. And my mom was in another room doing her hair or something. She, her back was turned to the door. I came in the door, I held this giant spider up and I knocked, I tapped her shoulder and I was just a little guy and she turned around and obviously she like freaked out and her, a reflex, she like swung it out of my hand, but you know, she she like hit me and she swung me like all the way across the fucking room. And I don't think that helped with my mindset. So I figured, fuck this shit, you know. It's time to get over this and for a while in my life already. You see, I started looking up shit. You know, I figured, you know, I want to do a, a professional therapy class. Something that mounts up to like holding a fucking tarantula or some shit like that. But before that, I started doing some research. I go online to see, you know, I Google shit, just simple shit like, um, can you get over arachnophobia or how to get over arachnophobia. And I look this shit up and I see some of these people saying this ultimate bullshit. I'm thinking to myself, you must not fear spiders or suffer from any kind of phobia logically. I see people saying shit like, just remember, spiders fear you more than you fear them. No fucking shit! And I see people say things like, most spiders aren't venomous. You think everybody who fears spiders is afraid because they're venomous? I mean, these house spiders I have in my fuck what? That, that's like I have a million. That's not, I have like one in the bathroom, but... You think I fear it because it could like spray acid venom on my face? No! It's more... The, the, not only the look they have that instills this fear in me, it, but it's like I said, it's like what my mom pushed on me that makes me fear them. And I'm like, holy shit, how can you people actually think this is good fucking advice? And then they say stuff like, which kind of makes sense, you know. Look at pictures of spiders, you know, watch movies with spiders, uh, and Google image spiders, and I actually can do this. And it's funny because 
And it's paradoxical because while I'm fucking afraid of spiders when I see them in front of me, I love the way they look. I think spiders are so fucking cool. I love movies with spiders like like eight-legged freaks, arachnophobia. Um, I watched that when I was very young, even. Um, the invasion of the giant tarantula, this 1950s movie. I love movies with spiders. I love documentaries like National Geographic and Discovery Channel, even though over here these days Geographic um, Discovery is me, like car shit. But yeah, like Arte, which is a, a documentary channel we have here, which is a French German combination thingy. I love seeing spiders on TV. This is not the issue. If, if it's an image on the screen, it doesn't bother me. But if it's in front of me, that is a different story. Uh, whenever, um, how do you call these? We call them hay wagons. I don't know what you call them. Whenever one of these is in my house, I used to freak out like crazy. Like my heart starts beating, these images and sweat and everything. I'm real fear, you know. But these days, um, they bother me less. I'm still, I see, like, like I have one in my um, bathroom by now. And it was there when I was very tiny and it grew by now, you know. I think he had like skin shedding and shit hanging in the net and... I don't even know how it survived through the winter. There must be nothing to feed over him in the middle of the fucking city in the winter. But yeah, I can look at it. But I still feel this fear when I look at it. But I feel I have gotten closer already. Like a while back, I was at work. I'm sitting here, you know. Right next to what I'm, I'm, I had like paper or something, or a stapler or, some, or a calculator. It doesn't even matter. And I was putting it in the drawer behind me. I look on the floor, I see this fucking giant ass spider walking there. And well, it has a very small body with the long legs, you know, I take it all into account. It was a giant ass spider, I freak out, oh, holy shit, you know. And I see it walking there and it's going towards the desk and I'm like, holy shit. If this thing is going under the desk, you know, in my hotel, the reception, it can't get out. It will be stuck in my area. So I actually go upstairs, I get a glass. And I see it walking there and I manage to capture it in the glass. Shove um, a sheet of paper under it and I put it outside. I don't kill them anymore. When I was very young, I always asked my dad to kill them. I don't do that anymore. I don't feel the need to do that anymore. I put them outside, or I have somebody put them outside, depending on how fucking big or what type of spider it is. But you see, I even manage that, even manage capturing them, keeping them alive, putting them outside. Uh, a while back, however, we had a spider in the house. This thing was fucking huge. It almost looked exactly like the spider's of arachnophobia, this massive thing. And, it freaked me out so much I couldn't even get in the room. Fortunately, my fiance has a fear of bugs. So she can take care of spiders. I don't care about bugs. I take care of bugs. It's like this deal we have. But yeah. All that to say that I feel a st um, like a psychological study or therapy to where you start out with simple basic shit and in the end you start holding spiders. Like, I used to do um, apple picking as a job for a few months. That was some shitty ass job. And obviously outside there's always these spiders in there. Like often I would go reach for an apple and it was this massive spider in a web. So yeah, I can... Normally you should just go around it or fuck the spider, you know, but I can't. So I just leave the apples. And one day there was a very tiny spider. I actually managed to grab like, like tiny, tiny, like microscopical fucking tiny. And I managed to let it walk on my hand. That might seem like nothing, most people must be laughing at that, but that is how deep this fear is rooted inside of me. And I feel if I can do that, I managed to be able to do that. And throughout the years I managed to be able to capture certain types of spiders and keep them alive and put them outside that I can get over this. It is something I really want to try doing. But yeah, this shit like, no, those spiders are venomous. Or like, they are more afraid of you than you are of them. No, he is not. He will walk over me. I'm not going to walk over him. F fucking hell. You, those people that say the kind of shit, do not understand what a real phobia is. Now, I'm glad that phobia-wise, you know, it's just spiders for me. There's a lot of worse things in the world. But none of those affect me. And my fear is the fear of spiders. And... 
it's it works in such a third degree. Like I said, like I can watch it on TV. And I think Spider, even the one that's in my fucking bathroom right now, I think he's fucking cool. But it's still this fear is bestowed upon me, and I just I want to get over that. And I think this year I'm gonna try and work on that. You know, summer will start soon again. Well, spring first. Isn't it actually spring already? I think. I think since yesterday or something. It is spring. But yeah, it's still fucking cold. But in a month or two, you know, the weather's gonna be nice. It's gonna bloom. I'm going to the park a lot. I'm gonna try really to force myself to work with this. Now I'm gonna like put my sleeve back so that it can't get under my clothes uh, in a second, you know, and that I can stop it from, and I can make it walk all over me. I feel that a therapy like this, even though I would love professional help, I'm gonna try this first. Because I feel that there's something I can overcome myself, technically, by working on it. So that's what I wanna try and do this year. This year I wanna try to deal with my arachnophobia. And that was a specific vlog. Thank you guys for watching. And stay real.